What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, it's been a while. According to my YouTube studio, the last time I uploaded a video was 114 days and three hours ago. So where have I been? On October 22nd, I went to urgent care for lack of oxygen. My oxygen level was 82, to which the doctor said, you have to go to the ER. So I go to the ER and my diagnosis is a pneumothorax. According to Wikipedia, a pneumothorax is a collapsed lung. So my right lung had collapsed. You know, the official definition here in my computer says, Pneumothorax, also known as a collapsed lung, occurs when air leaks from the lung and fills the space between the lung and chest wall. This buildup of air puts pressure on the lung, making it difficult to expand when you inhale. And I felt that. So I was in the hospital from October 22nd through November 12th. So as I'm recording this video, it's the 25th. So I've been home now 13 days and feeling good. Doctor says I'm making good progress, taking everything really slow. You know, I'm essentially doing my daily routine just about 50% slower. So I hope that explains where I've been the past couple of months, but we'll be, get back on schedule. If you're interested in Zoom lessons, please let me know. My email is down below. And let's do a quick lesson coming up next. Cool, so for today's quick lesson part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys two quick tidbits, very simple exercises, that you can integrate into your daily practice routine that will open up the fretboard exponentially, but very simple way. So the first one is combining our major chords, our minor chords, diminished and augmented as well, and checking out their matching arpeggios, right? So check it out. So for example, here's our major in the key of G. You can do one octave first. Let's do three octaves to expand the full fingerboard. Minor. Root, flat three, five. Again, three octaves. And do it slow. for no excess noise, clean as possible. Diminished, you know. Root, flat three, five. Three octaves. And finally, augmented. Root three, sharp five. Very simple exercise, nothing life changing, you know? Simplicity takes you a long way, in my opinion, on the guitar. The second exercise I want to check out is practicing your drop two voicings, right? These aren't, at least for me, everyday voicings, but it's good to have an understanding of them, right? So check it out. Also in the key of G. Root position, first inversion. Second inversion, back to root position. Then if you want, you expand it for the whole fingerboard. All 
like that. If you're feeling excited, you can add in a simple chord progression, like a one or five. Is there one chord? Our four chord starts in second inversion because the fifth is in the root. And our fifth, same voicings. Back to one. Again, these two small little tidbits, if you add into your daily practice routine, will help you expand the fingerboard exponentially in my opinion. If you have any questions on this, I do teach private lessons on Zoom, so feel free to reach out. Before we end today's video, let's do a quick gear talk segment. We're gonna talk a lot about gear on this channel, but I wanted to show you, you know, an update of what I have in my collection. So let's do it. So here's my deluxe reverb. Um, only thing that's changed over the past month is that I did change the V30 speaker to a classic lead 80. I think it sounds way better in this amp. The aux for the YouTube videos. Here's my current pedal board setup. Um, only thing new is I'm borrowing a King of Tone, which is great. Same guitars, Overdrive Special, you know, carry right cab with the Celestian 150 watt speaker. And that's really it. Very simple. Grateful to have all this stuff. Well, all right, guys, that is today's YouTube video. It's really good to be back and, you know, I hope and you know I'll do my best to get on a consistent upload schedule. If you are interested in Zoom lessons, please reach out. My email is down below in the description. And with all that being said, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.